Hi guys, welcome back. I have another project for us. Hope you could join in. Again, we're gonna need the similar, similar supplies as last week. Uh, we're gonna need our Mod Podge. We're gonna need two jars, one for water for the, for the paint, one for the glue. I got my brushes ready. I got my container to put my paint. Again, you can use a, a plate or any other container you may have. You're going to need uh, paint, as you can see over here, and you're going to need cardboard. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a frame out of a box. It could be a cereal box. It could be anything like that. And we're going to make like a little village of different little houses with cardboard. I think that's going to come out really cute. It's in my head and in my mind, but I don't know yet how it's going to turn out. That's the fun part. We're going to create together. It is really hot in my garage, so the noise that you hear is the fan. So I'm going to pick up my hair, and we're going to get going, all right? So I had this big, big box of goldfish that I went and got today at BJ's. I went to look for toilet paper, but they didn't have. But it's all good. We got goldfish. I love goldfish. Anthony still eats goldfish. I eat goldfish. Who doesn't like cheesy crackers? Okay. So I'm going to take this flat part because we're going to paint it. And then I'm going to cut over a little bit. Let me um, let me mark it so that the scissor goes faster. My scissors really stink. So try to use good scissors. All right. Hey, that worked out better than cutting with the scissors. But, you know, find yourself a decent pair of scissors. Don't be like me. All right. Let's do the other side. The other side, right? here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Basically what we're making is like the lid of a shoe box. If you have that, that'll work too. I didn't have that. So I have to make my own. Okay. Let's see. Can you see? Yeah. You can see. Yay, yay for me who has no patience. Excellent. So see how I'm creating already uh, like a shadow box. That's what I'm making, a shadow box. So I'm going to need to cut around here. All I'm doing is measuring, more, more or less. I'm not a big measurer, but sometimes you just kind of have to measure. Gonna mark it again. You guys can see it there. Yep, too hard to cut with your hands. Okay. Ugh. Girl, take your time and stop Ugh, stressing. That's good. Let me do the other side. I'm gonna mark it. Right here, right here. Take this edge here, use it as my ruler. So I don't want to get up and get a ruler. And it's just supposed to be more or less. God, that was a terrible line I did. I just want to have a guide. Okay. Next, we're going to work on the little houses once we have this ready to go. I wanted to show you how to do it. I didn't want to um, do it by myself and then you can't figure it out. So, Not everybody has a shoe box, but I'm sure from a cereal box or whatever, see, okay, I am going to, when I'm done, when I'm done with the project, I will paint the back of it or not, whatever, and then I am going to stick the corners but for now we could keep it flat so we could paint the surface okay but before we get to that let me show you how we make the little houses basically we're gonna make like a little village we're gonna put them in here we're gonna give it a roof we're gonna corrugate it I think it'll be fun and then we'll put we could put another one up here and then we could decide to make a moon I love it I think it's gonna come out really cool so let me show you how I did this okay um, all I did was take pieces of cardboard left over from last week's project and I cut 
little rectangular squares, okay? And then instead of keeping the cardboard really flat, because when the cardboard you cut it, it's, you see how smooth it is? I crumbled it up. So you go like this, you want to create texture, makes it look like an old building, okay? So that's what I did. All right, so let me show you what I did to make it look like that aged. I want to stay with the with a similar similar colors, okay? So I I've, I've chosen to use like a deep red. If you don't have deep red, use a light red and add a little bit of black. And I've chosen like a burnt sienna, which is kind of like a brown color. Let's see how that. Let's do one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So but I've already crumbled this one up. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of where's my camera there it is of the little burnt sienna okay and again remember since the cardboard absorbs so much paint that's good I mean backwards since the cardboard doesn't absorb a lot of paint you want to leave it don't put so much paint on your brush you want to leave it so it creates all these little nooks and crannies I like that and it's gonna make it look like an old village so take your brush Clean it on the paper, or in my case, on the tablecloth. Ah! And take a, a little bit of black, just a little bit. Notice I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna dab it here. I don't want a lot, I just want a little. Cause I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna highlight all the nooks and crannies, okay? I can't do it with my hands up there, so I'm gonna do it over here. I barely have any paint in my brush, so I'm gonna go back and from the one that I cleaned, I'm gonna do it again, okay? I like it. A little bit more and clean it. If not, it's gonna com completely cover all the colors you just did, uh, all the brown you just did, and that's not what we want. See? Too much. Go back in and clean it really well. Wow, it almost looks like a, a piece of leather. Let me take it really close to the camera so you guys can see how that turned out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I like that color. That looks great. I'm going to pour a little bit of my Mod Podge. Remember, you can make your own with Elmer's glue. A cup of Elmer's glue to one third cup of water will make you a good consistency. Let me see. Let me take a brush. And so now I'm going to add a roof line to it. What did I do? I took the parts that are cor corrugated off and I'm going to make like a little roof line with the glue. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edge of the roof. Here's the other edge. I'm cheating because I already had some pieces cut. So, so I have that ready when you're going to go do your project. Okay, I need another little piece, so I'm just going to cut it right here. I'm going to measure it. Am I going to measure? Nah. I'm just going to cut it. Okay. And I'm going to glue the other side. And it's okay if, if it's too big, you could just cut it off. Wow, look at that. Just cut it off. It's fabulous. What a concept, right? No thinking too big I'm going to cut it off I want I want it to be rustic okay so now we're gonna add windows remember to clean your brush okay add windows to my little house what's the best thing to do to add windows take a square brush any brush that has where's my camera right there square like that and if you don't have a have a square brush then just make little little dabs with a brush so let me do it without a square brush for y'all out there that don't have a square brush I'm just gonna use a regular brush I'm gonna take black and I'm just gonna make little little lines representing windows see I'm gonna show it to you now okay I'm, you can't see it maybe I'm too low oh, yeah I'll bring it up to the camera and then I'm gonna make a front door let me show you what I did you guys see it there? I did all little windows and a door. I didn't, you know, it's okay to be rustic like that. I like it. 
all right and then if you want to I like to mix mix and match your colors we can do um all the roofs we can do it in like a mustardy color like if you're in a village and everybody more or less has the same colored roof or tiles or so so I'm going to do a little bit of mustard again um don't put so much paint you know you would want a little bit of the cardboard to show so it looks like a little old village you know so if it's if it's too bright like i think it's too bright i'm going to take a little bit of black and soften it just a little bit of black the same one same thing you did to the cardboard so look how cute this is already i think it's really cute all right so i have a brown house i have a red house let's look and see how that's going to look inside our box we'll make a few more houses together just so i can show you all the different techniques this one's for my water for my brushes and for the glue don't mix them okay see how that's coming together oh so cute okay i'm gonna make another yay i'm having fun i hope you guys are having fun um if you guys join in please give me ideas of any other thing you might want me to make i have a few ideas coming up but you know more is more so let me measure and see how many little houses i'm going to be able to put in here across i can do three a bigger one four or maybe i want to make it fatter so it'll fit in that space i'll do that does this one fit let's see does this one fit so i don't have to cut another piece of cardboard pretty much that'll work I am going to cut a little piece of cardboard for another house. Let's see. So I might as well make it, make it, make it fit, make it fit perfect. This one will work. Okay. All right, let's paint another one. I think I'm going to put it over here. Okay, mustard. I think my next house is going to be mustard. I'm sticking to a lot of light neutral colors, okay? So I'm going to take my roof, my roof color again, which is like a mustard. I'm going to remember to, to squish it together. Don't keep it, um, because that way you get all those nooks and crannies, and it looks really pretty. So this time, instead of putting black to age this mustard, I'm going to try a little bit of the brown. So do not saturate your brush. See how I had too much on it? And lightly, lightly, you guys see that? Lightly go into those nooks and crannies. So like the buildings look old, historic. Ah, that's nice. I'm adding texture, okay? I'm still not liking it 100%, so I'm going to go in and get a little tiny bit of black. A little, a little goes a long way. Clean your brush, and then go into those, into those cracks that I did, that you pressed into it, and it gives it an aged appearance. It's really cool. Again, clean your brush really good, because a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to put it up to the camera now so you can see all my cracks see that yeah delish okay let's make a roof for this bad boy let me get another piece of corrugated part you guys remember how to do the corrugated part maybe for those who are joining me from you just pull out this part that protects it and you get this deliciousness so Peel it all off, and I'm gonna make like a triangle, like a like a roof. Triangle should go that way. So, boom. Mm -hmm. I think since we're all trapped at home, at least we'll do something together. It's that's fun and creative. I'm going to do the roof like this, but I'm going to cut off this extra piece, okay? 
So just come to the back and cut that off. And I'm gonna do this side. Okay, so go back to your glue. Clean it because I had it in water. You don't want it to be so watery. Get a little bit more glue. Get it, put it on your project here. You can put a little bit on the on the on the one you cut as well. There we go. Let's do our windows. Again, if you don't have a square brush, just use it with a with a regular brush, but I do, and since I want to finish the project in a reasonable amount of time, I am going to use a square brush. I see that? Super cute. Okay. So how many houses do we have at this point? Let's look. Let's go back to the project. We have our little mustard house. We have our red house. We have our brown house. What other color shall we do? Keeping in this tone. How about orange? Let's do a little orange house. Staying with it all within the same tones. And we will do it with this big piece that I cut. It fits just perfect in my little village, I think. Somewhat perfect. Let me trim off a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We're not going to glue them yet because if we decide to do another building over here, we're going to have all that space taken up. So I don't want to do that yet. All right. Let's do this one already in a triangle. And why don't we peel off this part so it already have the corrugated up to that point. See what I did? I'm going to cut it off. Roughly. I roughly cut it off. And then maybe, just to add a little funky texture, we could pop a little bit off. Kind of like the old buildings have like some of the bricks showing and stuff like that. We're going to make our own little pop it. If you stick the scissor inside, you could, boom, you could pop it off. See? That's kind of cool. This building is missing some um, plaster. Let's pop off the roof here. I missed a little spot. Let's pop off another piece over here in the corner. I think that's good, so let's paint it. Okay, let's do the orange. Clean your brush. Clean your brush, always. All right, let's do the orange. Ooh, that's really bright. Ah. All right, no worries, no worries. Mistakes are good. Go back in, clean your brush. Clean off all that excess paint and we're gonna make it work. Okay, let me show you what I did. Too much paint. But we go now with a little bit of brown. Yeah, you can see me dab it here because you don't you still want the orange to show but we're just gonna add add the brown all around where the the cut is where we cut out and in the little aging areas remember I did the I let me show you what I did I crumbled up the cardboard every time I use a cardboard once I had it cut I went like this to it and see how it starts creating all that versus so flat you want this Okay, so go back in with your brown and emphasize all the part where there's no paint. Here where the, the crack is, like if the building is cracking, where the orange didn't take, fill it in with the brown. That looks really nice. I like it. And then you can go back in with, with a little bit of black, a little bit, and highlight again where the cardboard color shows and the orange doesn't 
and then mix it, mix it again, more black. Over here, maybe by the roof line. My brush is almost, almost dry. Look, here's a white part. Look at that, almost no color, okay? That's what I'm trying you guys, trying to get you guys to do. It makes it look aged. And so inside where the bricks are, I am going to take a tiny brush, tiny, tiny, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of that brown. And I'm gonna put a little, 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 little bit of the black. Just because I don't want it to be 100% the color. Oh man, that looks nice. Okay, a little black again. I added just a little black there. Now I'm gonna go up in a direction of up. And we're gonna add a little black here and we're gonna go down. Again, my brush is almost dry. Look, look, I'm not making any marks. Almost dry. This is something that requires a little bit of control because everybody that's learning how to paint wants to saturate their brush and use a lot, but that's the only way you're gonna get all this kind of movement, okay? And so on this one, let's do the roof in mustard. And then I'll go back in and, and darken it because I don't want I don't want the contrast of something so bright with some you know that looks new. So I'm gonna go back and get a little bit of the brown again and mix it up with the roof, a little bit of black. And then again I mixed whatever I had left in my brush. That looks nice. Okay, so now that we have all of these put together, looks cute. You guys can see it. There it is. All right, I'm gonna make a few more. So I'm gonna stop the video, I'm gonna make a few more, and then we're gonna do the background.